everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays, and I'm in the Des Moines, a tier 10 US cruiser. I'm on the map Northern Lights in a 4 point domination game, so it's a tier 10 battle, but you know, there are a few pure tier 8s in there, and there is no carrier. Also, there is only one destroyer, so let's just say my radar might not be as useful as usually, even though this is a great radar map. Interesting enough, there are lots of cruisers around, so we'll see how that turns out. Now, Viper, my division mate, has already taken the sea cap. Now, being the only one enemy destroyer, he didn't find any opposition. Which is good. Although, I mean, there are raiders, there is like the Moskva and there's the Baltimore. But the Baltimore seems to be not here, and for some reason our ships are pushing very heavily there. I have no idea why, especially since the cruisers lead the charge, and you really wouldn't want to charge a Shobat in your Charles Mattel, I think. Then again, the enemy Baltimore also just got spanked, so some interesting stuff happening on this flank. Not so much happening here on our side yet. Viper is moving towards the decap. There is a Moskva around here somewhere, so something to watch out for. And I'm just reversing in order to start some fires, hopefully. Now we've lost our Shobat, they've lost their Baltimore, and now the Shobat is going forward again. Now we have one battleship going in there, of course we have the brawling battleship Kurfürst in the back. <laughs> this is just uh, usual, isn't it? And it looks like that Shobat decides to just go for it. Now we do have a Georgia there, also somewhat of a brawler. So there is that. And... I mean, Georgia, Kurf... Well, okay, we just lost the Albemarle, but we have a Georgia and a Kurfist and a Sao there. They should be able to deal with the Shabbat and Soyuz. But we'll see. Now, I popped the radar here to figure out what's on the other side, and I found the Shimakase. Meanwhile, we have a Bismarck and a Pullman charging through the 910 line. I mean, this is uh, interesting. They are brawling battleships and they are being aggressive. This is something that I like, but I'm not sure why they're in the 910 line. And honestly, if they charge through here, they might just find way too many enemies. We'll see how it turns out. Speaking of charging, for some reason, the enemy Shima decides, hey, I'm raided anyway and I'm pretty healthy still, so why don't I throw this health away? And... <laughs> so I do have a Hydro going to see any Shima troops, but does he have troops? Why would you why would you YOLO charge a demon without even having torpedoes ready? Like keep in mind he was raided on the other side. All he needed to do was turn around or hug this island and you would have been fine. Meanwhile the Neptune is fully broadside beached. <laughs> and the, there are some citadels. Well, I mean, he tried to smoke up there, but he was uh, sort of beached, so... <laughs> no, there is a fully broadside rate charging in. What's happening? It's not like, you know, it's not like the enemy team was behind. They were, I think, actually one ship ahead. And they weren't doing so badly, and suddenly they just all decided, you know what? Why don't we just all charge? Once again, he is, he's, he's not angling, is he? Like, he's basically just engaging me, possibly the last can, the Minotaur. He has no reason not to angle. There is nobody really creating a crossfire. Oh, now he's angling. Well, it might actually be time. Oh, is he going to make a full turn for more troops? Well, let's back to our explosive time, I guess. Oh. Oh, he's just dead. Um, no, in other exciting news, there is a Harlem charging through sea. <laughs> because of course there is. Now, for now, I just have to dodge some torps. And the Harlem isn't looking my way, so now we can make this turn. And then hopefully get some armor piercing in there. So I'm reloading armor piercing. Now, for all this madness, we are only like two ships ahead right now. Although that Harlem is gonna down soon. We have at least one low health ship at the A side, and we'll see how this goes. 
So the charge here has been stopped for now. I think we lost the Pommel and the Bismarck is now in retreat. It's... Uh... Yeah, I don't see that Harlem surviving there. So our team just pushed A really aggressively and the enemy team just yodeled through D and through the ships away. Which is interesting, right? We had this push push going of only like two or three ships into a lot of enemies. And instead of the enemies dealing with that, they decided they'd take half their fleet and just suicide it broadside through the middle. Um, okay then. So now there are barely any enemies left. <laughs> Must have been something in the water, right? Now, of course, technically, this is still losable, so we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Let's speed it up a little bit while I go towards the D camp. And the last remaining enemies, instead of, like, pushing uh, the D side where we are weak or something like that, they now decided to, you know what, let's just go on an epic journey on the other side of them. It's, uh... Yeah. So I've arrived here. I'm, well, I'm seeing some lovely broadsides there. I mean, we haven't shot a lot of them yet so far, right? <laughs> like, I really don't understand those people, right? They had their, with, with a lot of ships, then maybe because bad ships coming from the island, I don't know, for some reason they all fell back, sank like one Pommern, and then decided that... They now leave the flank where they are still needed and just be useless elsewhere. I don't know. So I got a fire and a confederate. And I'm still playing this somewhat carefully. Like, I presume we're going to lose the Georgia soon, uh, but I'm not sure how healthy a lot of our other ships are. Like, ship numbers can be a little bit deceiving if you don't look at the hit points as well, because you can easily lose like two or three ships at a time. But anyway. The Yoshino is just charging, and I guess the time has come for me to go around this island. The, I mean, there is only one battleship left, and the Montana doesn't have... I mean, it overmatches my nose, but it doesn't overmatch my sides or my deck armor, so... I don't have to be too worried, and he might just have other stuff to worry about anyway. So actually, I don't have to charge just yet. I can just uh, farm him from... <laughs> I don't even have to charge the Yoshino just yet. He's a very willing participant in this. Now, here is where I really should press the title. Because, let's face it, that's Yoshino told. There is no way that Yoshino did it. And I could have just hydro them, but like an idiot, I'm sailing through here. But thanks to the legendary module, I will actually dodge. <laughs> But that was so unnecessary. Like, uh, you know, my Hydro is ready. It was so bloody obvious. And I still didn't hide. Well, meanwhile, let's just try to set some fires on the Montana. You remember this Moskva? This Moskva was once here at the, like, between C and D, if I remember correctly. Where I thought he might defend that camp from Viper or something, but, uh, you know, that Moskva just, uh, Like, all of those ships, they, I feel like they just wanted to explore the sea there at the north. Um, speaking of exploring, that Yushino is exploring the possibility of getting Citadel. And this time I even have Hydro to dodge some Yoshino dwarves. And unfortunately I can't seem to land Citadels on the Yoshino. He's, he's now slightly angled, I guess. Yeah, I will keep trying. Now if I'm not careful, obviously at some point... The, oh, then the Montana is actually shooting. So... This is where I basically sail into a crossfire between the Yoshino and the Montana, but... I've decided that screw it. I think I'll be able to take care of the Yoshino relatively quickly. Also, the Yoshino is probably a bigger threat right now as the Montana. 
Well, the Yoshino has been dealt with. Now I can go back to angling to the Montana. That hasn't actually shot me. Like, he shot me earlier, right? And his guns are looking my way. Is his reload that bad? Possibly. And, you know. Uh, we are soon going to reach a thousand points. They have two ships left. There is a high caliber. Can I get the Montana? Well, it's gonna be close. He is healing. I should probably go to high explosive here. He is, uh, like, ammo piercing his performance. Oh, well, it's over. So, that brings us to the results, and I had a pretty good game, thanks to the enemy just yodeling in front of my guns and showing full broadside. <laughs> I have no idea. Must have been something in the water or so. Uh, who knows? But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Oh, by the way, I should mention I'm now on Christmas break until uh, next Monday. So, next video is a week from now. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time.